Hello students! I will try in this video to technologically introduce the sharing features and the forming features that can be carried out on a sheet metal blank. Of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. First of all, the question is, what is the main features that can be carried out or manufactured on a sheet metal blank? And as you can see on this hierarchy, we have principally the sharing features, the forming features, and the drawing features. And I will talk in this video about sharing features, holes and slots, and forming features, flanges, bands, and hems. And I will talk in detail in another video about drawing features. Now for the shearing features, it is obvious that the hole is totally dimensioned or sized by its radius, but for the slots, as you can see in this figure, they are dimensioned by two dimensions, the major dimensions and the minor dimensions. Major dimension is MA and minor dimensions is MI, either for oval, rectangular and square uh, slot. Uh, here you can uh, notice that for a square slot, uh, the major dimension is equal obviously to the minor dimension and the square slot is dimensioned by only one dimension which is uh, the dimension of the edge uh, MI. And you can notice here that the hole can be considered as a circular slot. Now for the location of these sharing features, as it is indicated by this figure, we have a polygonal uh, sheet metal blank depicted by the bolt line and we have uh, a reference system composed by the horizontal axis x-axis and the vertical axis y-axis and the reference point located by its coordinates xr yr as it is explained in the previous video on this uh, sheet metal blank we have a hole which can be considered as a circular slot we have also an inclined oval slot, a rectangular slot, and a square slot. The blue arrow represents the vector position that permit to locate the hole with regard to the reference system. And you can note that the hole is located naturally by its center. The red arrow represents here the vector position of the oval slot with regard to the reference system and you can note that the oval slot is efficiently located by the center of its circular edge and the other corners the location of the other corners can be determined easily based on the major dimension and the minor dimension of this oval slot the yellow arrow represents the vector position of the rectangular slot and you can note that the location of the rectangular slot is efficiently determined based on the location of one of its corners and the location of the other corners will be easily determined based on the major dimension and the minor dimension of this rectangular slot. The same location approach is applied for a square slot. Now I will talk about the forming features, the sizing of the forming features. And as I say, the forming features are the V-band, Whippet band, U-band, that's for the band. Also we have the flange and the hem. The sizing of the band is based on the, the, the angle of the band, the radius of the band, the length of the band which is equal to the sum of the two lengths 
of the two flat portions plus the length of the curvilinear portion. And for the U-band we have also P which is the distance between the two band lines. Same thing for the flange. The flange is sized by its angle alpha F, F to say flange, and uh, the radius of the flange RF, and also the length of the flange which is equal to the sum of the two lengths of the two flat portions plus the length of the curvilinear portion. And for the hem, uh, it's to note that the hem can be simply seen as uh, a specific U-band with very small p applied on the two edges of the sheet metal part. So the approach used for sizing a hem can be considered as the same used for sizing a U-band. Now for the location of these forming features, we have for example, as you can see in this figure, we have a band and a flange. And this band and this flange are located on the sheet metal blank, of course with regard to an appropriate reference system, based on their line equations. Uh, here we have the line equation of the band and the line equation of the flange, of course in this specific example. That's all for this educational video. I will appreciate all your remarks and suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.